Hello, this is Franco, and this video is a follow-up to the one that I filmed yesterday about the spindle on my PM728VT. Had a lot of questions about the bushing, and I uh, talked a little bit about the bushing that I made for the PM25MV, so I figured I'd just shoot a quick video. And yet once again here, the idea is I, I don't use the, I don't use this like a drill press. So I wanted to disable all the functionality with the quill. And if you listen, you'll, you'll notice there's, there's no toggle. There's no toggle when I turn this. Everything's all jammed up nice and tight. And that's exactly the uh, way that I wanted it because uh, this is basically a little CNC machine. And the way I accomplished that, that was with this bushing. And what I did is I, I made this bushing, and uh, in this setup, I actually left the spring and everything in there. What I, as, if my memory serves me correctly, what I did was I took I took this cap off, I took this spring and everything out, and I took this bushing and I slid it down over the spindle shaft, and I think I um, pushed pushed it down as far as it could go, and I think. I put the spring back on top of it, actually. I think that's how I put this one together. So I believe what happened is this bushing slid all the way down to the bottom of the uh, channel, and the spring's on top of it. And that has worked fine, just perfect for me. In fact, if I turn this spindle on, let's fire it up. This spindle sounds great. So let's there's about 1200 beautiful right even at a low rpm usually on my on the the new machine at a low rpm i can really hear the the play right because uh, there's no uh, it, it's not it's not jammed up yet like this one is right this one this one is jammed up cuz the bushing fits really tight the other the other machine the bushing doesn't um, We'll, we'll get to that later, but this machine, this bushing fits in there really snug, really tight, and it it uh, makes the spindle and the the drive pulley one piece. But you can see it's really quiet; it makes no noise. Turn it up. That's it. That's full RPM, 2500. Alright, so that's all made possible by this uh, little 3D printed bushing, and I'll put the link to this in the description of this video. And if you if you choose to do this, to dis disable the, uh, I'm going to say the, the quill function or the, the drill press like functionality, then you can, you can do that with a bushing such as this. And once again, uh, the bushing that I put in this machine is different. I didn't. I didn't put the bushing in to completely jam it up because right now I, I want this drill press type of functionality. So this one, it's it still has that clearance. You can hear that? That's that's not a bad thing. It's it's how it's designed. That's the way it's supposed to be. But over here, nada. You will not hear that on this one because of the the close snug fitting bushing so there you go link to the bushing will be in the description i'm also going to throw a few other links in there um, uh, put some links to some of the manufacturer manufacturers and distributors that i've you know used in the past that i felt are really good and that i would recommend so uh, when you're checking out the uh, 3d uh, preview for the bushing if you'd like check out the uh, some of those other links too you may find that helpful if if you uh, if you're in the market for stepper motors or uh, CNC controls or anything like that, 
All right, thanks for watching. I uh, I want to tell everyone to have a good day. I know that may or may not be possible for a lot of people, but have you know have as good of a day as you can right now uh, in light of everything that's going on. All right, take care. Be safe. So long.